Hi, everybody. It's Reverend Tracy from St. Thomas United Church, and I'm offering you a prayer for Psalm 23. This is a scripture that is a little bit hard to understand, and I know that you've been working on it for the last few weeks. And so I offer you this prayer. And this is a prayer that helps you go through Psalm 23 line by line, and I will reflect on which what the lines mean and how we can see God and uh, feel God in our presence today. Um, in each line of the psalm. Of the psalm. So let's uh, get ready for prayer by taking a deep breath. And let us pray. We thank you, God, for Psalm 23. It reminds us of all the things you do for us through the love and care of people around us. The Lord is my shepherd. We thank you for those guiding us. I shall not want. Thank you for people who give us what we need. He makes me lie down. Thank you for those who help us rest and relax. He leads us. Thank you for people who help us worry less. He restores my soul. Thank you for those who help us with our anxiety. He leads us in the right paths. Thank you for the people who help us from feeling guilty. For his namesake, thank you for those who help us focus on love and who love us. For you are with us. Thank you for those people who stick with us and always have our back. I fear no evil. Thank you for those who take away our fear so we're not so scared. They comfort us. Thank you for people who help us feel less alone. You prepare a table for us in the presence of our enemies. Thank you for those people who always include us, no matter what. You anoint my head with oil. Thank you for people who forgive us and help us when we feel disappointed in ourselves. My cup overflows. Thank you for those who tell us that we are enough and what we do is enough. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us wherever we go. Thank you for people who encourage us when we doubt ourselves. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Finally, loving God, thank you for those who always make us feel at home and never homesick. Amen. Hi. As you prepare your space to join us in worship today, maybe find a candle that you can light along with us. You can light your candle, maybe you have an LED candle or you have a real candle that you can light with a grown-up at home. At our church, we light this Christ candle and it represents Christ's love always being with us. As you ready your space to join us in worship and in prayer, remember that Christ is always with us. We light this candle as a symbol of God's hope. And a symbol of God's peace surrounding us, within us, and between us. No matter how far the distance, God's love is with us always. Hello and welcome to Storytime. As you know, for the whole month of January, we've been looking at Psalm 23. So today, for Storytime, we're going to read Psalm 23 from the Spark Story Bible. If you have a Spark Story Bible at home, you can find it on page 160. If you don't have a Spark Story Bible at home, feel free just to listen, uh, and I will read it to you. So let's read it now, shall we? David, the shepherd, loved his sheep. He led them in beautiful fields where they ran and played and jumped and kicked up their heels. They ate lush green grass and feasted on delicious berries. 
They drank from cool mountain streams and splashed in refreshing waterfalls. David cared for each and every lamb. If one wandered over a hill, David was quick to go and find it. He put the lost lamb on his shoulders and sang sweet songs and hummed soft melodies. Sometimes he played his harp to help the tired lambs fall asleep. During times of danger, David fought against wild animals with only a slingshot and some stones. His sheep were never afraid because David was always with them. David thought about what he did as a shepherd and thought, about, thought that God cares for people in many of the same ways that he cared for his sheep. One day, David wrote a song to tell everyone, God is like a shepherd. God loves and cares for each and every one of us. God is my shepherd. He gives me all I need. He gives me wonderful places to rest and sleep. He lets me splash and play in cool, clear waters. He helps me to do what is right. I'm not afraid, even in the darkest of nights, because you are with me, God, and your protection comforts me. When danger comes, you give me strength. My life is filled with your love, and all I want is to be with you my whole life long. David sang this song to his sheep, thankful for all the ways God loved and cared for him. That was Psalm 23 from the Spark Story Bible. I hope you enjoyed the story, and we will see you again next time. Bye-bye. having a great day. We were talking about Psalm 23, right? And one of my favorite parts is to imagine the fluffy sheep that the shepherds were caring for. And I had an opportunity to go to Scotland a few years ago and there was fields everywhere just full of these fluffy sheep that you just wanted to go up and touch and feel and they were oh so soft. Do you remember those pictures? Yeah, I remember those pictures. Yeah, so I thought what could we do today to make our own sheep fluff? So here's what we're going to do. We have to use some soap and so to we're going to do a bit of an experiment, right? Yes. And we're going to see because we need to use ivory soap. An ivory soap in our experiment, there's a reason we need ivory soap. So we thought we would do an experiment with some other soaps first, and then we'll know why it has to be ivory soap. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna see, we're gonna do what? So we're gonna take some of our soaps that we have here mm -hmm. and see if they will sink or float. So oh, this okay. is a soap bar that, actually a soap heart and it's a thing it's a soap that our friend made for us mm -hmm. and so will it sink or will it float what do you think hmm. uh, i'm gonna say float huh. maybe let's see i think sink yep it sunk you're right it sunk all right what's another soap let's keep going okay so then we have dove soap which is my mom's favorite mm -hmm. soap i love dove okay so do you think it's gonna sink or do you think it's gonna float Mm, I'm gonna guess sink this time. What do you think? Sink? I float. Think float, yeah. Oh, float, okay. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa, it sunk real fast. Yeah. Okay, what else? Okay, then we have this good soap mm -hmm. and we got it at a farmer's market. Yeah. So, do you think it's gonna sink or do you think it's gonna float? Oh, it smells good. Sink or float? Um, Let's go sink. Mm, yeah, sink. Sink? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Went to the bottom. Okay, now we have ivory soap. Which is what we need for our sheep fluff. Yes. And this is why it's important. What do you think, sink or float? Uh, sink. You're gonna do sink? Okay, I'm gonna guess float. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? <gasps> it floated! It's floating, okay. So we, ha we know why it's important to use ivory soap. This was a good test, a good experiment. When they make ivory soap, they whip it, and there's, there's lots of little tiny air bubbles. It even feels lighter soap, didn't yeah. it? It I, felt much lighter. I held um, some of the bars of soap earlier, and I could tell that I, the ivory soap was a lot lighter. Okay, so that's why it's important we do ivory soap. Okay, thanks for yes. helping me with this experiment. 
Here's what we need for our sheet fluff. A microwave safe plate, a dry bar of ivory soap, an adult to help you, and of course, a microwave. So we're gonna put it in the microwave for one minute. You're gonna put soap in the microwave? Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. And again for one minute. We're watching it turn and what's going to happen? Ooh, maybe, maybe it'll make sheep fluff. That's what we want. We want sheep fluff. Oh yes, can you see? It's starting. Look how it's starting to expand and change shape. That is amazing. Can you see it grow? All those little tiny air bubbles that made it float in our in our experiment with our bowl is now what's making it expand as it gets hotter. It's growing and growing and growing. We're gonna have some pretty great sheep left. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I set the timer for a minute. It's now down to 10 seconds. Yep. Almost done. Let's see how it turned out. Wow, that's Whoa. awesome. Look at our sheep fluff. How fun is that? So here's our sheep fluff from our microwave. Wow. And it was so much fun to watch it expand. It's a bit hot to touch. It's not terribly hot but just be a little bit cautious. And as it starts to deflate, it'll start to cool off a little bit. Yes. And you get this really neat feeling soap that you can like take apart in chunks and look at, it's just, it's very light and fluffy, just like we imagine it might be. So maybe get a big bowl and go sit at the table and you can, you can play with it. You can feel it in your hands and break it apart. Maybe try and build things with it. And it gets very crumbly and soft and kind of breaks apart as it cools, right? But it's yeah. super fun to play with. Maybe take a big chunk of it and play with it in the bathtub next time you have a bath. Or you could make bath paint and put water and 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 this in the blender and make bath paint. That's right, there's some great recipes online for how you can put this in the blender with some like food coloring and a bit of water and it makes a really fun bath paint. So look that recipe up too. So thanks for helping us, thanks for listening. Hope you can make your own sheep fluff with yes. ivory soap. Bye for now. Bye. Oh